N. Dor by Rudyard Kipling Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at N. Dor. 1 Samuel 28, 7 The road to N. Dor is easy to tread for mother or yearning wife. There it is sure we shall meet our dead as they were even in life. Earth has not dreamed of the blessing in store for desolate hearts on the road to Endor. Whispers shall comfort us out of the dark, hands, our God that we knew. Visions and voices, look and hark, shall prove that the tale is true, and that those who have passed to the further shore may be hailed at a price on the road to Endor. But they are so deep in their new eclipse, nothing they say can reach, unless it be uttered by alien lips, and I framed in a stranger's speech. The sun must send word to the mother that bore through an eiling's mouth, tis the rule of Endor. And not for nothing these gifts are shown, by such as delight our dead. They must twitch, and stiffen, and slaver, and groan ere the eyes are set in the head, and the voice from the belly begins, therefore we pay them a wage where they ply at Endor. Even so we have need of faith and patience to follow the clue. Often at first what the dear one saith is babble or jest or untrue. Lying spirits perplex us sore, till our loves and their lives are well known at Endor. Oh, the road to Endor is the oldest road, and the craziest road of all. Straight it runs to the witch's abode as it did in the days of Saul. And nothing has changed of the sorrow in store, for such as go down on the road to Endor. <laughs>